Hey guys, Brent here from brentmailphotography.com and today's photo quick tip, I'm going to talk about perspective when you're photographing birds like these rainbow lorikeets that I photographed at my friend's house. I was photographing with a Fujifilm X-T1 and the 50 to 140 millimeter f2.8 lens which is a beautiful combination if you're looking at a mirrorless camera. Alright, so I had these birds uh, on this fence, they were being they were being attracted by the feeder that my friend Maka has and I was photographing them standing up tall like a, like most people would normally do and I thought you know what if I change my perspective if I bend my knees a little bit let's have a look at what happens so obviously I'm shooting at a very shallow depth of field I'm shooting at an aperture of f2.8 which is wide open aperture so a very shallow depth of field because I wanted to get one lorikeet in focus and the rest out of focus and I wanted this fence line to kind of draw your eye in so you know maybe your eye comes in at the bottom right here and then, and then kind of goes in all the way back there so let's have a look at the different images I got so we'll uh, go into the next image so here's another image I took um, at, at the same kind of angle with my knees you know not bent and standing up tall and not a bad shot, you know. You can see the lorikeet over there, the one that I've got in in focus. He's all fluffy. He's probably just fluffed himself up. And they just are beautiful colors, these lorikeets. So there's one. That's the other one. And then I decided to change my angle of view. I actually knelt down below the fence line, below the birds. And I photographed this image, which wasn't too bad. But this uh, highlight in the top right here was really distracting me. I was, I was looking at it and he's, and this lorikeet's slightly out of focus. I was probably focused on his feet instead of his eye. And um, I was just testing things. So I was looked, I looked at the image. I thought, you know what, not a bad shot, but I'm worried about this white highlight above here, which is going to be a distracting element in the image. And you want to track, take away all distracting elements. So I ended up with this one. I moved slightly, refocused on the lorikeet, and make sure that his eye is in focus and then I, I photographed this one and this is the one that I ended up with so just have a look at the difference between changing your angle that you're photographing them at your perspective so standing up nice and tall with my legs straight and then bending my knees and looking at the background to make sure there's no distracting elements so see the difference this one I've got the grass in the background which is a bit dead and not so great and this one I actually made sure that I had a darker tree some foliage in the background so it was a bit darker and the bird stands out so quite a big difference between the two uh, what do you guys think do you think changing your angle of view makes a big difference in your landscape or bird photography please leave me comments below this is Brent have an awesome day